What's up you guys, it's Jose Zuniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today I got a whole lookbook revolving around jeans. Now jeans are going to be very important right now that fall and winter season are coming because they're probably one of the best pants to keep you warm throughout the whole day and they're very versatile. However, there's different shades and washes and colors and it can get a little confusing where do you even start or where you can appropriately use each shade. So that is what I'm aiming to solve in this video. So all the jeans you're going to be seeing in this video that fit freaking amazing are from a company that I just found called Standard Deviation. Really awesome company based out of Brooklyn, New York and all their stuff is either made in the USA or Canada so it's high quality materials with really ethical production and the jeans are very reasonably priced considering the quality that they have and the amazing fit that they have and you're going to see that right now through the lookbook. So me personally I think guys need at least four jeans, four different shades of jeans and that's going to be the dark blue, this is probably going to be your most versatile, a light blue, a light gray and a black. Those are the four colors you're going to hit. There's a lot of variations within those four colors, but those are the four main ones that if you have those four, you don't need any other jeans. You can mix and match and you'll have a complete wardrobe. So let's get into a lookbook so you can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. So first let's start with the dark blue or the dark wash denim. Like I said, this is going to be your most versatile jean. I think if you're starting out, this should be your first shade of color in your jeans. Because as you'll see, it is the one that's easiest to dress up and down. I mean, this jean is the one that's going to look the best in a business casual situation. If you want to dress it up with some nice leather shoes, a dress shirt, you can even throw on a blazer. Here I threw on a raincoat because it is kind of rainy. But like I, as you can see, you can easily dress it up. The benefit is you can as well dress it down. Just as simple, throw on a t-shirt. I just talked about t-shirts yesterday. So throw on a clean, nice, well-fitted t-shirt and some nice sneakers and you can that easily dress down a nice pair of dark denim. This is why I say this is going to be your most versatile pair. And of course, like any other simple look, a good way to dress it up or add a little bit of flair is to add some sort of watch and bracelet this or, that, or arm candy, whatever you want to call it. Those accessories will really push your outfit to the next level. Next up is the brother of the dark wash denim and it's a light wash. You need at least one light pair. Now I would recommend this one to be your second jean because it's not as versatile as dark denim. Dark de denim you can easily dress up. Light wash denim has a more of a casual feel to it and it looks great during the summer, during the day, day out in the park to run errands. Notice my choice in colors. It's very summery, very light and that's what light denim represents. Now if you're a night owl, you like the nightlife, you're always out after hours, you need a black pair of jeans. Nothing complements the night more than an outfit with some black jeans and just dark colors. As you can see, it makes you look so sleek, modern, slim. It, it just gives you so many great qualities. Now the great thing of dark jeans is that they're easily dressed up as well. As you see, I threw it on with a pair of wingtips and it looks great. Now the good thing about these standard deviation jeans is that their goal when designing them was to bridge the gap between menswear and streetwear. And as you can see, even though I could easily dress up these black jeans, I could just as easily do some sort of more urban or street style look with the same pair by throwing on their sweatshirt or pullover and some white sneakers. Now the last pair that I would recommend after you get those three essentials would be a light gray. I would say this is probably your least versatile one, but it is a really cool shade to have. So that's why I recommend it to be your fourth and last pair. Once you have this pair, you have basically completed a full jean collection. You will not need any other jean, I can guarantee you that, because you'll have all the basics you'll need to complete killer outfits. Alright guys, so that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you like this style of shooting, give it a like sub, it helps me out and obviously lets me know you like these videos. Also comment down below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have standard deviation down below with a discount code specifically only for you guys so you can get them a little bit cheaper so you guys can check them out. Great jeans guys, as you see they fit amazing and I'm sure you're gonna love them. So that's it for this week's video. See you next time.